Welcome to Yoga Lotties today. So for today's class, we're going to use a Pilates ball. You can use one a little bit larger. You can also use one that's a little bit smaller, so either size works. You can also always, of course, grab a set of light weights. You can also use ankle weights, which is much more preferred when we get in towards a Pilates session. And then a set of blocks to start off our class here. So go ahead and set them at the top of your mat. We're going to come down into a child's pose. So find your tabletop, bring your knees wide, and then press your hips back, toes to touch. Extend your fingertips out long. Focusing here on your breath, inhales and exhales. Your forehead can be on the floor. It can also be placed on a block, maybe rolling from side to side. Actively stretching your fingertips long, pressing your hips in towards your heels. From here, walking your hands over to the left side of your mat. Feeling that stretch all on the right side body. You're welcome to keep both palms planted onto the earth. You can also release your left hand, tuck it behind your right hip, stretching that right fingertip nice and long. If your left hand is binding, go ahead and extend it straight back to meet the right. Walk your hands through center, over to the right side. Feeling that deep stretch all down the left side of your body. Option to keep your right hand planted. You can also release it, bind it behind your left hip. On your next exhale, if you have that right hand bind, go ahead, extend it out long. Walk your hands back to the center. Option to bend your elbows, bringing your palms to touch. If you'd like a deeper stretch, bringing your thumbs to the nape of your neck, feeling that sensation all through your triceps. Maybe walking your elbows further towards the crown of your head, simultaneously pressing your hips back. And on your next exhale, gently release your palms back down to the floor. Come on up to a tabletop position. So stacking your knees directly under your hips, wrists directly under your shoulders, Tuck your toes, hammock your body, lift your gaze, spreading your shoulders nice and wide, lengthening your collarbone. And then untuck your toes, round your spine, bringing your gaze to the tops of your thighs. Come through neutral spine, tuck your toes, lift your gaze. And then scoop and arch, round your spine, Two more times, just like this. Come to neutral spine, tuck your toes, lift your gaze. Coming through, round your spine outwards. Pressing that earth away from you. Come through, tuck your toes. Last time here, lift your gaze. And then round your spine. Come back to a neutral back. Maybe bump your hips side to side. And then walk your hands towards your knees. We're gonna to come to a kneeling position, keeping your shoulders stacked directly over your hips. Draw your arms up high towards the ceiling. Bend your elbows, cactus your arms, lift your gaze, draw your elbows down. Lift your gaze, bring your gaze forward, arms come up, bend your elbows, and lengthen. Gaze comes forward, bend the elbows, really spread your fingertips nice and long, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Gaze comes forward, arms overhead one more time, bend the elbows, and then bring your gaze forward. From here, we're going to go ahead and reach your right hand back. So option to grab that block, place it between your ankles, arms stay up overhead. We're going to reach the right arm back, coming into half camel, press your hips forward. Left arm can stay up. You can bring your gaze up or back. Left arm up, right arm behind, and then draw your right arm up. Release your left hand behind you to the floor, block or your left ankle. 
Right arm stays overhead. Really press your hips forward, opening up those hip flexors. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Maybe your gaze is forward. You can also lengthen your spine, bringing your gaze to the back behind you. One more time on each side. Right hand down, left arm up. Release your right hand back behind you. Press your hips forward. Releasing your left arm, drawing your arm up. And then come on back down. Go ahead and bring that block to its lowest setting. And then have a seat on your block. You can sit on one or two blocks. So your knees are about hip width apart. Your toes are on the floor. So if your arms up high overhead, we're going to cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Bring your gaze forward. Draw your right hand down, left arm overhead, left bicep to left ear. Coming through center. Left arm down, right arm overhead. Come back through center, sweep your arms up high overhead. Cactus the arms, lift the gaze. Bring your gaze forward, draw your hands back up. Left hand comes down this time, right arm towards your ear. Bend your elbow and extend. Right hand down, left arm overhead. Bend your elbow and extend. Both hands down, sweep your arms up high overhead. Bend your elbows, lift your gaze, bring your gaze forward one more time. Right hand down, left arm towards the right side. Bend your elbow, extend. This time, rotate your body towards your right hand. Draw your left arm out in front, left hand down. Right bicep to right ear, bend your elbow and extend. Rotate your body towards your left hand. Draw your arm out in front. Bring your arms up high overhead. And then release your left hand to the outside of your right knee, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist deeper. Draw your arms up high overhead. Twisting, draw your right hand to the outside of your left knee, left hand behind you. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist deeper. Arms come back up overhead. Bring your hands through heart center. And then come up, finding your tabletop position. From here, maybe bringing your hands a palm print forward, coming into some barrel rolls, bringing your hips towards your wrists, hips towards your heels, and then down around, and then switching sides. Come back through tabletop. Tuck your toes, and if you haven't already, bring your hands a palm print forward, lift your hips up, coming into downward facing dog. Maybe pedal your heels one at a time. Hopefully your mat or your towel isn't slippery or smooth like mine is. Just pedaling the heels one at a time. From here, lower your heels, lift your right leg high, bend your knee, open up your hip. Maybe circle out your foot. And then straighten your hips, square out your hips. Draw your right knee to your right elbow, kick it back, knee to nose, kick it back, right knee to left elbow, and then kick it through, lift your left arm up, we're going to lower down, draw your arms over to the left side, lift your hips, bring it back down, from here, go ahead and come back forward, lift your hips, Fall in triangle, kick your legs straight back, and then from here, we're going to draw that right knee in towards your right wrist, untuck your left toes, maybe roll from side to side. You can also tempt your fingers coming up, lift your gaze. From here, bind your hands behind your back. You can also just bring your hands to your lower back, opening up your chest. We're going to hinge forward and up for a three, holding that half pigeon. That's two. One more. Half pigeon crunches. Rolling up. Release your hands down. Option to bring blocks down in front of you, placing your forearms. Forearms can come onto the block. 
Maybe rolling side to side to deepen that stretch. You can also bring your forearms directly down to the floor. Gaze is between your forearms. You can thread the needle in half pigeon, lifting your left arm up and then throwing it under and through the right side body. Maybe bringing your left ear or cheek to the floor or to a block. You can bind that right hand. I'm here. If you're in that thread the needle, just go ahead and release it. Coming back up. From here, we're going to rise up. We're going to come into a 90-90 stretch. So your right knee is going to be bent at 90. Out in front, your back knee is also at 90. You can keep your hand down by your side. You can also bring your hands to heart center. We're going to lift up and lower. Right knee forward, left knee back. Lift up and lower. Two more. And up. One more. All right, from here, lower your hips down. Extend your left leg straight. Bring your left hand behind you. So your right arm right high up overhead and reach your right hand to the outside of your left foot, your left calf, or your left thigh. Avoid grabbing at that knee and hinging, folding forward, feeling that deep stretch all along the right side body. Option to hold it here. If you want, you can also lift that leg. You can extend your left arm back. You can also cross your hands over, holding and breathing. And then gently lower your left leg if you haven't lifted. Curl your hands behind you, right hand behind your right hip. Lift your hips up into stargazer, left arm comes back behind you. Chin and chest stays lifted. From here, lower down. Plant your hands and step that left leg back. So stepping that left leg back, step your right leg back, coming back to downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. And let's repeat that on the other side. So lower your heels towards the floor, lift your left leg high, flex your left foot, keep your hips parallel, stack with one another, and then bend your left knee, stacking your hips, Maybe circle out your left ankle. Square out your hips, extend your left leg, flex your left toes. Draw your left knee to your left elbow, kick it back. Knee to nose, kick it back. Left knee to right elbow, and then kick it through, fall in triangle. Lift your right hand, lower your hips down. Cartwheel your hands behind you, right hand behind your right hip. Left arm comes up, lifting up. Lower back down, cartwheel your hands forward. From here, lift up, kick that left leg straight back, and then coming into half pigeon, tuck that left knee in towards your left wrist, untuck your right toes, you can walk yourself up, chin and chest is lifted, maybe rolling side to side on that outer hip. If you'd like to do our half pigeon crunches. Bring your hands to your lower back or bind your hands behind you to open up your chest. We're gonna bring it down and up for four. And lift. That's three. Two more. Stay with it. One more, you got this. All right. Stay upright. From here, option to bring those blocks in front of you. You can place your forearms on the block, deepening that stretch. You can also set that block off to the side, coming down onto your forearms. Go into the depth that works for you. Maybe one side you're able to stretch a little bit deeper than the other. If you like to thread the needle, you can reach your right hand up, thread it under and through the left side body. Maybe bringing your right ear cheek to the floor, maybe to a block. You can extend that left arm long, 
You can also bind it behind your right hip. Holding and breathing here. If you have your left hand binded, go ahead and unbind it, pressing your hands into the floor. From here, we're going to come into 90-90, so keeping that left knee bent out in front and that back knee bent from here, we're going to lift up and lower, lift up and lower, two more, hands out in front or hands by your side, once more, slow and controlled, lifting and lowering, go ahead and lower your hips from here, keep your right leg straight, bring your left sole of your foot to the inside of your right leg, sweep your arms up high overhead, right hand behind you, bring your left hand to the outside of your right foot, your right calf, or your right thigh, folding forward, holding and breathing, option to lift that right leg, feeling that stretch if you'd like. Woo. Limit on space here. You can reach that right arm back. You can also bind and crisscross those hands. You have that right leg lifted. Gently lower it down towards the floor. Bring your left hand behind your left hip. Keep the bind of your knees. Lift your hips, stargazer. Extend your right arm long. Press your hips up and then gently lower down. From here, cartwheel your hands down in front, tuck your right toes, lift your left leg high, three-legged dog, and lower. Pedal your heels. All right. From here, press into high plank, press back up, downward dog. Biceps frame your ears, press forward, high plank, press up, downward facing dog. Press forward into high plank, holding it here, pulling your navel into your spine, flat back. Keep your elbows tucked in towards your body here. We're going to lower down slowly for five, four, three, two, and one. Release all the way down. Untuck your toes with your hands still under your shoulders. Press up too many cobras. Release down. Press back up. Release down. From here, extend your right arm long from your shoulder. Keep your left hand box out. Relax your right leg. Lift your left leg up and over to the outside of your right hip for broken wing. Opening up your hips, opening up your shoulder. Maybe just resting your ear or your cheek on the floor. Down here, come back to center. Place your hands under your shoulders. Press up one mini cobra this time. Release down. Extend your left arm directly out from your shoulder. Keep your right hand boxed out. Left leg is relaxed. Lift your right leg up and over to the outside of your right, your left hip. Releasing your left ear to the floor, maybe to a block. Holding and breathing. Come back through center. All right, give me one mini cobra. Hands on your shoulders, pressing up. Release down. Release your hands back. Palms facing down, pinkies in, thumbs out. We're going to lift everything, upper body, lower body. Full locust. And lower. Three more. Lift. And lower. Two more. Squeeze everything. Lift higher. And lower. Last one. We're going to lift and hold for three, two, and one. Come on down. Place your hands under your rib cage, pressing up full cover. Straighten your arms. Lift your gaze up towards the ceiling. Over the left shoulder. Gaze back up. Over the right shoulder. Gaze comes up. Bring your gaze forward. From here, come through tabletop. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. 
How are we on time? Keep pedaling those heels. All right, from here, lift your right leg, step it through. We're gonna come into warrior one. So pivot that left foot down, rise up. From here, bind your hands behind your back. You can also place your hands just on your lower back, binded warrior one. Option to hold it here, you can come into humble warrior, bringing that right shoulder to the inside of your right foot, and up, two more. Bring it down, and up. Your back left foot is pivot at an angle, 45 degree angle, last one. And lift. From here, we're going to draw the arms up high overhead. Catch your breath. We're going to hinge forward, bend into that front right knee, kick your left leg back, coming into warrior three. A few options. You can bring your hand to the floor. You can bring your hand to the block. Keeping that left leg straight, flex your foot. You can also bring your hands to heart center. Bird, bringing your hands back or extend your arms forward for a full warrior three. Holding and breathing for three, two, and one. Release your hands down, so your block off to the side. Step your left leg back, step your right leg back. And flow, coming down, lifting up. Coming through tabletop or straight to downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. Let's repeat the same thing on the left side. Lift your left leg high, flex your foot, draw your knee to your chest, step it through. Pivot your right toes down 45 degrees, rise up, warrior one. Option here, you can bind your hands behind your back or spring your hands to your lower back. Your chin and chest is lifted. Opening up your collarbone. Option to hold it here, or you can draw that left elbow and shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Rise up, humble warrior, and forward. Keep that bend into your left knee, and rise up. Right leg is straight. Bring it down, and up. All right, from here. Draw your arms up high overhead, and we're going to bend, hold that bend in that left leg, hinge forward, coming into warrior three. So your hips are squared, your right leg is straight back, your right toes are flexed down, hands on the floor, hands to a block, and just come back so I don't have this grass in my face. You can keep your hands to the floor, you can come into bird, bringing your hands back, hands to heart center or full warrior three, trying to lift that leg higher. Hold it for three, two, and one. Step your right leg back, low crescent. Kick your left leg straight back, and flow. Hands up. Coming back, downward facing dog. Pedal your heels. Catch your breath. Lower your knees gently. Finding your child's pose, pressing your hips back, catching your breath. All right, come on up. We're gonna grab that ball, and we're gonna come on to our right side. So this ball is gonna be under whoop, your right hip rib, Again, it can be a large ball, it can be a small ball. And we're gonna lift that top right leg, right elbows wide behind your head, and we just have a bicycle leg, kicking it back, knee draws up, kicking it back, knee draws up, keep it. That's it. Knee to the chest, kick it straight back, knee to the chest, Keep it straight back. Two more. Keep that right leg hovering. All right, on your next one, draw your knee in towards your chest. Extend your right leg from here. We're going to lift it for 10 and 9. That's 8, 7, 6, 4, 
four, three, two, and one. How did I go from six to four? I don't know. Bend your knee back to those bicycles. Draw the knee up and kick it back. Knee up, kick it back. Keep it going. Do you want that right leg hovering? That's it. All right, on your next one, hold that right leg straight back. Point the toe, straighten the leg. We're going to lift it for 10 and 9. That's 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, last 3, 2, and 1. All right, go ahead and lower that leg. We're going to switch sides. So come on to... I think I said your right side, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm getting my left and right confused. That was the left side. So if you did the right side before, do the left side this time. I'm doing my right this time, which I told you guys, I think, before. That bottom knee is bent. Your left elbow is wide behind your head. Your top elbow, should I say. Your bottom forearm is down. Bottom knee is bent. Extend your top leg straight to a hover. And just give me those bicycle moves, drawing that knee up towards the chest and then kick it straight back. So you're probably wondering, what is this ball doing? Why is it making it more challenging? Because with that ball, your body is not concretely against the floor. You are lifting up with that ball, so your body is more inclined to roll with your leg as it moves. You want to squeeze your glutes, engage your core, activate everything to keep your body completely still. Only your knee is moving. Keep it going. All right, on your next one, we're going to keep that knee in. Extend your leg. We're going to lift it for 10. That's on. Let's see if I can count this time. 8 and 7. That's 6. 5 more. Yes, you can. And 4. And 3. 2. And 1. There you go. Bend your knee. Kick it straight back. See if I can count properly, then you all can do this with ease. That's it. Keep it going. Bend the knee to the chest, kick it straight back. Knee to the chest, kick it straight back. You know what's coming. That's it. Just a few more here. You should be feeling it in your outer left hip pocket. That is expected. All right, on your next one, hold that leg straight. We're going to lift it for 10 and 9. That's eight, seven more, six, last five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Lower that leg down. All right, let's do some hip stretches here. Extend your legs. Draw your left ankle over your right thigh. Draw your right knee in. Roll your hips from side to side. Come back through center. Just a mini stretch. Lower the right leg. Lower the left leg, right knee over your left hip, and roll it side to side. All right, come back, still with that ball. We're gonna hold on to that ball the entire time. All right, with that ball behind your back, place it to your mid back. So again, that ball can be small or that ball can be larger. Your knees are bent. From here, elbows are wide, full extend and crunch, extend and crunch. So with that ball, you might think it feels easier because you have that ball to press into and you're not laying completely flat on the floor, but you are doing a full range of motion crunch. You're extending further than you would if you were laying flat on the floor and you're crunching up. Keep it going. All right, hold that crunch. We're going to bend the right knee to the chest and extend. Just a bend and extend. Keep it going. You've got it.
All right, hold that right leg straight and low. We're gonna lift and lower it. Keep your abs engaged. Keep that right leg straight, left knee stays bent. That's it. Four more. And three. That's two. And one. Lower that right leg. From here, your right leg is straight. Crunch the right elbow to left knee. Tap it down. Crunch. Tap it down. That's it. Stay with it. Cross body crunch. Five more. All right, from here, bend your knees, extend your upper body back. Nice stretch here. Both of your knees are bent. All right, let's get back to those crunches, right back to where we started. Crunching up and extend. Crunch up and extend. I know it burns. You got this. You can always place your hands down on the floor if you'd like to add a little bit more assistance for your crunches. You still want all the work to be in your abs. Maybe bring your palms facing up so you're not pressing through your palms. All right, your next one, hold the crunch. Left knee bends, extends, bend, and extend. That's it. Stay with it. All right, hold it extended. We're gonna lift and lower. Just that left leg. Oh yes. Lift and lower. Just the left leg. Left leg is straight. Point more through your left toes. Two more. All right, lower that left leg from here. Draw your left knee down towards your right elbow. Left elbow towards your right knee. Oh my goodness. All right, left elbow to right knee. Crunch and extend. Your abs should be on fire by now. Your core should be screaming in the best way, of course. Keep everything slow. Left leg is long, right knee is bent. Crunch and extend, crunch, and extend, four more, three more, two more, all right, last one, all right, sit up, grab that ball, roll all the way back, rest your head down, from here with your knees bent, ball is overhead, we're gonna rotate the knees over to the left, come back through center, over to the right, Come back through center. Maybe squeeze that ball as you rotate the knees. Bring it back. Your shoulders are staying planted in towards the floor. That rotation that you bend the knees is up to you. You can also always just draw the outside knee, draw it back in. Outside knee, draw it back in. Or you can do both knees. Maybe squeeze that ball, being slow and controlled. So as slow as you lift the legs, you're letting them lower just as slow. Arms are straight up overhead, gaze is up towards the ceiling. That's it, squeeze, knees lower, release, knees lift. Squeeze, knees lower, release, knees lift. That's it, stay with it. Keep it going. All right, last one. Go ahead and come on up, place the ball between your thighs. We're gonna lay onto our left side. I'm gonna get it right this time. Lay onto your left side. You can just lay all the way down for this one. Your knees are bent from here. 
Feet are together. You're just squeezing and releasing that ball. Just a squeeze and release. Gentle squeeze and release. Keep it going. That's it. Just a squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Keep it going. Still going. All right, last one. We're going to come up onto your left forearm. So still with that ball between your knees, your feet are together, right elbow is wide. We're going to lift and squeeze the hips and lower. Lift, squeeze, and lower. Lift, squeeze, and lower. So your right knee is pulling down. Your left hip is lifting up. Keep it going. That's it. Keep it going. Two more. Last one. All right, keep that ball just where it is. Roll onto your back. Draw your knees to a reverse tabletop position. From here, we're just gonna squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. Palms down by your side. Your gaze is up towards the ceiling. As you squeeze that ball, actively draw your navel into your spine. Actively press your lower back in towards the floor. Exhaling, inhaling as you release. Squeeze and release. Two more. Last one. All right, hold that ball. Come on over to your right side. You can lay all the way down if you'd like. Just pop your head up, knees are bent, ball between your thighs, feet are together. Just squeeze and release. Tiny squeeze, little release. So you want to keep that squeeze of the ball to some degree. That way it's not rolling away from you. Just a squeeze and release. Keep it going. Almost there. Two more. All right, come on up to your right forearm if you were previously all the way down. Left elbow is wide behind your head. Your feet are still glued together. Lift your hips, squeeze the legs, and lower. Lift, squeeze, lower release. Lift, squeeze, lower release. So as you lift your hips, your right hip is pressing up. You're actively pressing your Sorry, your right hip is pressing up and you're actively pressing your top left knee down towards the bottom knee, squeezing that ball as you hold the hips high. Five more. Four more. Last three. And two. And one. All right, from here, come on to your back. Draw your knees over your hips, your knees stay bent. Your toes are pointed, palms down by your side. Let the knees fall to the right, back to center, over to the left, back to center, over to the right, back to center, over to the left. Now from here, come back to center. Option to keep your hands where they are you can draw your elbows wide. You can cactus your hands if you'd like more support. You can also place your hands under your hips. Knees stay bent. We have little hip lifts. Tiny lifts with your hips, working those lower abs. Five more. And four. That's three, two, and one. From here, extend your legs. 
We're going to lower and lift, slow and controlled, same hand options. If you'd like additional support, bring your hands under your hips, hands down by your side. You can cactus your arms, elbows wide behind your head, actively squeezing that ball. Your lower back is pressed in towards the floor, so if it lifts up, just don't lower your legs so far. You've got this. Going to the depth that works for you. Two more. Last one. All right, hold the knees overhead. Bend your knees, feet are flat on the floor. Feet are hip width apart and parallel. Go ahead and cactus your arms if you don't already have them there. It's a nice chest and shoulder opener. We're gonna lift and lower. Just a glute bridge raise and lower. So your shoulders are pressed in towards the floor. Lift and lower. You're actively squeezing that ball. Keep it going. Squeezing your glutes. Right from here, hold the hips lifted and then lift your shoulders. You can bring your hands under your back if you'd like. You can bind your hands and then walk your shoulder blades here, lifting your hips even higher, coming into a full bridge here and then squeeze and squeeze. Tiny squeezes of that ball your core is engaged, your hips are lifted up towards the ceiling, your feet are flat on the floor, hands down by your side, shoulders lifted. You can also have your hands under your back, you can bind your hands, you can walk your shoulders in towards one another, lifting your hips even higher. Five more, and four, that's three, two more, last one. Release down, tuck your chin to your chest, roll all the way down. Draw your knees in, set that ball off to the side. Draw your knees in towards your chest, curl yourself into a little ball. Maybe roll side to side. And then release your head down. Extend your legs so your knees are in towards your chest, but your feet are up to the ceiling. You can grab the back side of your thighs. For a happy baby, you can grab the outside of your feet and just rolling side to side if that feels good to you today. Your knees are tracking out towards your shoulders, avoiding your rib cage. You can come into ninja baby, extending one leg and then switching. You can come into a wide leg straddle. You can bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet to touch. Back to happy baby. Bring the knees together. Keep your right knee in, extend your left leg. Draw your right knee in towards your right shoulder, once again avoiding the rib cage. Tuck your chin to your chest, hover your left leg, flex your left toes, and actively point flex, circle out that right ankle. Lower the shoulders, lower the left leg. With your left hand, grab the outside of your right knee, pulled across the left side of your body, gazing, looking over your right shoulder. Maybe extend your right arm long. You can also cactus the arm. Draw your knee back in. Maybe circle the knee. And switch. Left knee in towards your left shoulder. Right leg is long. Tuck your chin to your chest. Hover your right leg. Flex your right toes. And point flex. Circle out your left ankle. And then lower your shoulders, lower your right leg with your right hand, grab the outside of your right knee, draw it across the left side of your body, gazing over, looking over your left shoulder, extend your left arm, maybe cactus your left arm. Come back through center, draw your left knee back in towards your shoulder, 
Drop your circles with your left knee and then reversing that direction. Draw both knees in, tuck and roll yourself up to a seated position. You can cross your ankles right over left, left over right. Maybe move your hips side to side. From here, draw your arms high up overhead. Hands to heart center. Bring your arms back up overhead. Twist and bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee. Your right hand comes behind you, gazing, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale to center. Exhale, right hand to left knee. Looking over your left shoulder. Inhale through center. Exhale, left hand to right knee, right hand behind, looking over your right shoulder. Inhale, center. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind, looking over your left shoulder. Come back through center, arms come up high overhead. Hands to heart center. Fantastic work today, everyone. Thank you so very much for letting me join my practice with you and sharing it with you each and every time. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Namaste. Make sure to drink plenty of water for the remainder. See you all next time. Thank you.